Today I'm so excited to show you this video. This video is things today's kids will never know about. A list of things that kids like me, born in the 90s, experience. Walkman players! I still have one and I have to admit that I still use this because uh, when I'm studying I have to listen, I don't know, this is a French CD and instead of use, putting this in my computer because it, there will be too many distractions if I use the computer uh, while I'm studying I use this with headphones and it's good! Logos for telephones, especially for Nokia who remember that? You had to call the number on television and you will receive the screensaver for your phone, the logo or in black and white or the ringtones and also on the magazines there were so many advertisements about it and I wasted so much money in that things <laughs> I know you were texting with someone the whole day and they didn't reply to you and then you just ring one second and then you hang up the other person will understand that has to respond to you or if you weren't texting with this person probably you did this because or they did this to you because um, they were thinking about you but you had the first crushes and you received a buzz from a guy and you, oh my god he's thinking about me and yeah that was so dumb and so lame but anyway Barbie computer games, Tom Ryder, The Sims Messenger. I could customize the font. I remember when I used to write OK, there was like an emoji, a kind of emoji popping up. And if you were chatting with someone, oh my god, they have a wonderful emoji to say hi, and you could uh, copy and paste it and save it and use it forever. The music is changed a lot, especially the kind of music that teenagers used to listen and music that teenagers listen now. An example? Boys, Spice Girls, Britney Spears, Blue, Octo oh, oh, Tre, Gemelli Diversi, talking about anime. In Italy, obviously, we translate everything, so is Rosanna, but in Japanese, I think, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it should be Kodomo no Omocha, Kodomo no Omocha, or something like that. The Fresh Prince of Bel Air, Bear in the Big Blue House. Sailor Moon <laughs> and all the merchandising about Sailor Moon Powerpuff Girls Mr. Bean I loved Mr. Bean especially in Christmas afternoon after the Christmas lunch when you were just chilling on the couch and you didn't know what to do after the end it was a marathon of Mr. Bean Family Matters and Scooby Doo Holland, Ranma, Dragon Ball, Pokemon, the first the first series at the beginning, not now that there are like hundreds of hundreds of Pokemons. Digimon, Digimon, something like that. Everything concerned the Barbie dolls, um, the house. Um, I oh I remember I had this, it was like a trolley, uh, like a luggage, a trolley, and you opened it and there was a house. Barbie clothes everywhere. And do you remember the sticky hand that you used to find? Well, in Italy they were inside chips. In my grandmother's old house, there's still um, one of these hands hanging on the ceiling. Oopsie. Merchandising about Sailor Moon. Oh, there was a heart, the one that they had here uh, when they transformed themselves. You opened it and it was the music. Uh, of their transformation and and you pretend to be um, transforming. It was so cool. At the beginning of the high school, I believe, we used to do these things called Scooby Doo. I think 
I don't know in English, I don't even know if there were somewhere else and they were like this thing, you create them by scratch in different colors and we put them on our rucksack or just making bracelets or necklaces and stuff like that. And also we had coccolotti, they were this little bear, they were scented so they had draw, um, they had a little uh, image of fruit uh, on their belly and they smell like that fruit, like strawberries, I had a blueberry one, it's little ponies, oh I play so much with this, yeah they were a little pony and you just, yeah, it was cool because they were different colors, and tamagotchis, who doesn't remember tamagotchis, they were everywhere, also TRL uh, on MTV, when MTV was for music and not for pregnant teenagers programs and it was every single day at 2 p.m. I think TV series in Italy was Un Medico in Familia which is a doctor in the family a huge family with the grandfather and the grandchildren and the father who was the doctor and a lot of love issues, teenagers issues and they made like 9 series but the best TV program in Italy was Ciao Darwin basically there are two um, group of people challenging each other uh, on different things like courage uh, challenge, uh, the fear challenge Artide! Artide! Oh Antartide! Oh Antartide! Ma chi è l'antantartide? Ma senti, signora, è un uomo di latta. Io già sto male. Se il signore è stile di latta dice antartide Antio ed Dio. è sbagliato, qual è quella giusta? Anti-antartide! Ma che cazzo dice? Io so io, artide! How to forget Buffy. Buffy, the TV series. Can you take a moment to appreciate? <laughs> my uh, passion and obsession for Buffy and they are not all of them I have more um, somewhere and I also have the uh, PlayStation 1 PlayStation 2 video game about Buffy it is the beginning of everything the beginning of all the vampires all werewolves all the monsters all the vampire slayer thing Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and as always, see you next week with another video. Bye! I'm going to tell you 10 reasons to watch BBC Sherlock. Reason number 10. Andrew Scott plays Moriarty 